kind of almost a fake. 6 1 life sport. Stepping around to the, the mic is uh, our own coach Matt McClure. And here we are. Yes. Welcome to Knollwood Club. I know. Founded in 1924. Thank God they put that on the windscreen. I would never have known. I mean, nearly a 100 year anniversary. I wonder what they got planned. Exactly. Probably some uh, corned beef sandwiches. Did you get that there, uh, Coach Cal? That's the second point. Okay, there you go. Nice. So this first one was a relatively quick set. Yes. We are in, joining you in the midst of this match, as I'm sure Sean already mentioned. Uh, there was a little bit of a scheduling switch uh, tonight. Not in a bad way. No. But it's going to allow us to bring you the second half of this court two match here, Knollwood versus Life Sport, and then uh, the entire court one match. Exactly. Which is going to start as soon as these guys. We can call that bonus coverage. Finish coach. up. I think so. I think I think it, my whole life is bonus coverage at this point, Sean. <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty excited to just you know absolutely still be kicking. So on the near side, I'd want to say over here we have uh, Mike Shabriah uh -huh. uh, hitting the ball now in, yes. the, in the Navy, and then uh, Baker is here on the uh, right side of the court right now. Uh, he's got uh, probably about uh, two feet on, on Mike, I would say. Two and a half yeah, feet, he's uh, a, he's roughly. A, yep, he's a tower of power. Yeah. And then uh, over here playing for Life Sport. Life Sport. Life Sport. Life Sport. <laughs> Welcome to Life Sport Fitness. Uh, Life Sport. I think the East Coast broadcast happened last week. The illustrious Mr. Franco over there, fellow director at uh, Ruth Lake, I believe. That's right. And then uh, I don't know uh, Cantwell, his partner. I haven't seen him play before, but he's over there grinding out in the ad side, which is probably the right call because Franco can drive off of both sides. He's, he's and an excellent lob. Has a good I'll tell you that one. backhand. An awesome lob. Yeah, welcome to the game. Going for the backhand. I actually really like that decision from uh, Shabria there. Maybe it dropped and popped out a little too far on him, but uh, definitely a drivable ball for him. He's got a good two-hander that he plays sometimes. I was just not gonna necessarily say, off the screen. Right, I was just going to say, because that was a one-hander, but he takes the ball so early, and he's so well-prepared, he can hit both of them. He's going to go for a cut on that one. Yeah. Wow. you got to give <clears throat> Mr. Baker credit for even trying that. I, that's just style points, if there is such a thing. You know, I like to call him Dr. Do Mr. Baker. So, <laughs> not, to be, not to be too formal, but uh, just formal enough. Doc? Doc. Just call him Doc. <laughs> So I, I mean, it's like a great drive. And great good volley. It built a wall. Oh, oh, I like that. He had that Got had a front row lined seat for up. that one, courtesy of cameraman Cal. He wears a lot of hats. He's not just a cameraman. No, he can do it all, really. All the hats. Yeah, there's, there's nothing that Cal Noble can Cover the point do. on his head, as they say. Yeah. Good waterfall. I think that the stream team is working on a new high level of efficiency. Uh, with the right equipment and making improvements in our second season. And I'm also pretty impressed that no one has punched anyone. No. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> yet. Yet. But the, it is 7.49 in the <laughs> evening, so still a little early. We've got time is what you're <laughs> suggesting? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and wire management, cable management was excellent tonight, I have to say. <laughs> wire management. Yes, I, I, I think I wire wired. management is appropriate when we're playing, when we're playing paddle. I you just know? don't want anybody taking things oh, off the wires. Know. Oh, man. Oh, your calf is not going to recover that's, that's from that, Dr. Mr. Baker. Well, it's a good way to, you know, if you're, if you're going to shave your legs, it's not a bad, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you need to use your it's pedal. Different yeah. level, right, the yeah. different different set of tools it's, involved. I mean, if you're going to have to go through some discomfort, I suppose, it's one way to do it. It's hot wax or a paddle face. It's it your did. call. <laughs> it's good. That's a nice first serve, though. I think Shabria just trying serve. to calm Baker down a little bit there, saying maybe we don't need that much offense from off the net going for the big roller. Although I do know the feeling of losing the first set 6-1 and feeling like you need to do something different, clearly different. Yes. And, and, and oftentimes what you try to do different is you try to accelerate. Oh, shot. Oh, oh that a great was a drive. really tough drive. From Coach Franco. Yeah. Right in his wheelhouse. And you notice he didn't have to crush it. It's a control drive. You, you pinpoint him, like right there. Yep. That's a good pick. Not an easy shot. Yeah. Uh, 
That's yeah. a nice uh, touch shot from Cantwell with that little backhand push drive. No I question. didn't see necessarily all of the first set. It was relatively Beautiful quick. Lob. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know uh, how much I would want Franco to play in this situation. I'm kind of with you, you there, know what I coach. Mean? Like yep, he, no, I'm he's with you. so far uh, every drive that I've seen him hit out of the deuce corner, he's hurt him with. Yes. And uh, and then you have to do the extra work with the shift and opening yep. up the court and that whole thing. I it, might. He's pretty good. I about might play this. I too. might play this uh, like three games in a row on two thirds of the court. You know, yep, like right because there. Because he seems to do that a lot when yep. he gets the ball he likes. Especially on the forehand side. Nothing he doesn't have Great a backhand drive. Great drive there from Shabria. Good transition. And I love it that he lob. slowed wow. it down. Man, these guys are just on fire with the lob right yeah. now. Great roller. That's going to come out low and give him a chance. Baker with the move. Yeah, nice. Great coverage from yeah, both really teams here. D. It just nice clipped shot. it. Yep, caught the line. Just yeah. ahead of that one. Yep. Nice There's back end, yep. And I do think what you're seeing a little bit here is, oh. oh, I like the thought, maybe letting it drop too low and trying to carve it too close, but, um, but I like Baker that was there, from both teams, honestly. No question. Team team life sport, you know, not swinging the ball to the deuce side unless they can hit an attack where, you know, they know they can get it to a screen and exactly. keep it soft. Great drive, he's there. It's a great pick. 15-30. So Jabrian Baker still hanging on here. Sometimes the live stream can just give you that extra energy. Yeah, as soon as I said, hey, we're, we're kicking the live stream now for exactly. your second set. That's nice great shot. Drive. Wow. And he tracked oh, it. Oh, he made it work. Gosh, I'm proud of him. It's amazing. That was a shot that Franco would not have made two years ago. Is that right? No, I'm just absolutely. He's just a buddy of mine, so I like to mess with him. <laughs> but no, he's <laughs> he's a good player. <laughs> I don't know if it's better to present someone as making clear and obvious improvements, or if it's uh, or, or if it's better to I just think be like, nah, he can that. do that whenever he, he wants. That. So it's they like, have a lock. To Ryan Baker have pulled it to 30 all here. Yeah. And these are some longer points than we saw. I don't think we saw any points this long in the first set. No. There was a couple of uh, transitions as we were finishing the setup here in getting ready at Knollwood, which is a beautiful facility, by the way. Yeah, well, if I you haven't, haven't had the that. chance to have the prime rib at Knollwood, you're this really mob. missing out. Unbelievable. Great yeah, it, it's uh, food's phenomenal. Okay, that's right, Cal. <laughs> Cal says the company's a little is lacking. He, is lacking or even better? He said even better. Did you say even better? You're trying to keep it Oh, positive, you said even Cal. better. Okay. I just assumed that when a, Cal has to hang out with us and set up cameras for the This is a new Cal afternoon. Noble. No more no. nihilistic Cal. <laughs> no more nihilistic Cal. <laughs> Cal has decided to stop running that Arby's Twitter page. <laughs> we have the meats. We have the meats. Hmm. All right, back there is it. no hope. Enjoy Arby's. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's a, this is some really smart overheads Huge here from here. from Incredible. Shabraya. See, I really like that. At least you know you get a chance of lulling somebody into right. you know a false sense of security. Now this is maybe a little too many balls to Franco in in my opinion. That's a smart shot. I like that one. But I also wonder how much of that little error where you clip the tape is caused by the side to side, right? Because then he's a little out of his rhythm. No question. When he swings the ball back to the ad side. Because you got to shift. Yeah. Well, generally you do. You know. I guess you don't have to. <laughs> I guess you don't have to. No, if your your partner doesn't care. I mean, I'm... I would always joke with students that when things were going badly, that's a nice shot. Wow. The mesmerizer. Very nice. There were things were going badly in particular. You you do you can just play on two thirds of the court. Like there's no requirement right. to hit the ball to the other side. No. Maybe the occasional volley. I guess I guess you can't be expected to like control the it's perfect nice volley shot. every time. Yeah. That's a nice shot. But but overheads, like you never have to hit no. the ball into that deuce corner. And it's not just because one of the players is appreciably weaker. 
Because that's usually. I the, like that because it's an attack. Okay, yeah. that's smart. Good call here. It's usually at um, some of the double digit divisions you get that. Well, one person was appreciably weaker, so we just. Yeah. Pretty much picked on that player. Necess that was always necessarily a yeah. bad idea. You but should still hit the ball right at them instead uh -huh. of let them hit forehands. Exactly. Like Make they didn't. They didn't accidentally get to series three because they can only lob the ball. No. Like you know. No, it's a good point. Yeah, it's it, it is also one of the most difficult things to adjust in the middle of a match. Especially when you're playing long games where things are relatively close. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, he's up, he's up. And his partner is playing singles. You got to love that. Coach Franco's kind of used to that. Maybe <laughs> when he's out on, <laughs> he's out doing a drill and somebody hits the deck. I I got you. I love it when my teammates dive. <laughs> yeah. That's, Just crawl to the sidelines. true commitment. I got you. So, anyway, that was another game. For life sport. Uh-huh. Franco I think that puts him up 3-0, correct? It does. For those of you tuning in, uh, if this match should end a little earlier than we'd all like, there is another one afterwards. We do have uh, court one, yeah, coming up. Correct. And we'll have to do a quick adjustment to the scoreboard on the transition, but otherwise we will... Uh, Generally stay live. Maybe maybe we'll mute ourselves while we do a little quick I've adjustment. Been, I've been told to do that so many times in my life. By Lourdes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Anne says to me. Your, all right. All right. <laughs> my wife is like, hey, maybe you could temper the things you say a little better. And I was like, Never seems to listen. work on me. I just think I just think the reason why I'm mentioning the, the bonus uh, coverage is uh, we're getting just a murmur of uh, noise in the background. And, <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's because we're, they're. Yeah. You know, they don't want. They don't want to stop. They th it's really a good time here in the clubhouse at Norwood. Yep. So. that's actually a great decision from Baker. Maybe he didn't quite commit to that drive, but right. I mean, it came out far enough, and yeah, it wasn't like everybody was prepared for the volley on the other side. And it doesn't have to be a blistering laser beam either. Nope. Great return. Pick. Good oh, move. Oh, it's going to work if you can get it down. Oh, no. Good hands. Great hands. Nice. I shot, then I was going to say. The switch in the backcourt. This is. These guys have played together a little bit. You can tell. Yeah. Figured that would be a one-time drive, but. Maybe I really good. enjoy uh, Sean. And, yes. I mean, you can agree or disagree with me. I'm actually looking for your input here, but I really enjoy streaming this level of paddle in particular because I think that they're, these guys are all good athletes and yes. they have a lot of shots, Yes. but there is also like you can start to see a clear implementation of strategy that can affect matches. No question you know? about and, it. And when we're about to watch court one, some of the stuff that we might see on court one, like uh, you know, some of the stuff that Brad and, and Modic and you know, John can do. Sure. Are they're not normal shots that everybody has. No. You know, it's kind of like uh, every each one of those guys has some stuff that's just not. <laughs> yeah. It's a little superhuman. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And you're gonna see Modic hit some screen drives at 90 miles an hour, where you're gonna be like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. And I'm like, well, not, not normal people. Education. Yeah. You know. No, you're right. But this is uh, this is a good representation of like you gotta you're gonna see the strategy here kind of be the the difference maker no question and for the and most the consistency. part I, I, I know i totally agree with that for the most of that probably was ill-advised right they're just going for that much of the line on that roller uh by doc baker i'm calling him doc baker from now on i don't, <laughs> really, I don't know if that's okay <laughs> just sounds, sounds like a fit sounds like an old walton's episode so nice move sit a oh, little deep. Close. really good pressure on that volley though for baker to come forward and cut that off early no question Tough on the quick reaction. Sorry, you were saying. No, we're, we're, we're a deuce. Let's see if we can get this. Great overhead. Yes. Nice. That's a tough little ball perfectly into the nick there. No, what I was going to say was um, just the reaction movement and shifting at this level as mm -hmm. well because you can – and, of course, you're, gonna, you're definitely going to see that on court one, although it might be a little more nice subtle. Nice dig by Shariah there. might be a little more subtle on court one. but let's go Oh, pickleball. Sit. Oh, yeah, that worked out. I like that. I think uh, I think Doc Baker was being too nice with that one. 
I think I if think you're so going to get close like that and everybody's Basically, still yeah, close, you've got to blast a ball into somebody's yeah, chest. Yeah. And it, I, I and hate to I hate to say that in no, a way. I'm not not, a, not not in a you know not in a <laughs> aggressive po- way, right, but you know no, that's the right shot for the sport. It's part of the game. Yeah, right. absolutely. That's part of the game. It's a great screen drive by Mr. Franco. I like the fact that Shabazz is rocking the Nirvana T-shirt. Yeah, he's he's in it. I don't like that. It's a good drive. Almost blitzable. But you know what? Again, why change a winning strategy by messing something around? I, don't know. I, think, I feel like Franco really likes that shot. I don't know how many hard balls I would put into his. No, again. Into his screen. To your point, yes. I might have saved him on that last backhand. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. He's gonna Sometimes that's going to be a great, a great shot right cutter. there. Cutter. Wow. Now, you tried that before and that almost an whiffed it, but that's absolute, absolute redemption yes, overhead. Absolutely. If only that was worth more points. That's what <laughs> I would say to myself when I would hit a shot like that. Oh, that should be worth 10. Well, with FanDuel's Are we involvement, three all? <laughs> yeah, FanDuel or something involvement in all this stuff, you know that's going to happen sooner or later. You'll be like, oh, yeah. Baker's hit the button. He may get a triple out of this. Great roller. That's a great roller. Wow, that didn't even come in. It looked like it came off a seam, but it mm, that was a good died. shot. Anytime you can hit a roller right at somebody's body and make them dodge to the middle of the court, then you then they have to do it's the extra point, work to chase it right. down. If they, you know, if they don't have to move out of the way, then they're just going to be on top of the ball for the next shot. Great overhead there by Mike as work. well. There you go. Keep working that. Good eye. That stayed in. I, I thought it was going out. Look at this move. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Baker was so sure that that ball was wide. He totally stopped playing. Yep. I don't know. That was a tough Heck, I stopped, tough call. I stopped watching, really. Yeah, they I might mean, have won that point two times. <laughs> I'm telling you, they did. I, I, it looked wide to me, but that's okay. I thought it was wide also. Yeah, yeah but that's you know what? That's a tribute to them. Though. Yeah. There's some sportsmanship points. I'm not sure we're keeping track of those, but that's not the point. It is one of the things that I do love about the Chicago League is that 95% of the time when you see somebody, you know, make a call like that, it is out of generosity. Yep. It's like, maybe that could have been good. I don't, I don't, you know. Somebody else said it speaks to the amount of beer that flows. <laughs> if, 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 because if, you have to be honest with I yourself about what you can three, see. Yes, yeah. Either that or you just get more emotional when I drink. I, that line's fuzzy. I don't I know. know. I'm not going to take that long. away from them. They're such nice people. And yeah. When I have a beer, which is not very often, obviously, but. Um, yeah, I get emotional, and I'll just give him every call. <laughs> I get emotional. So, yeah. You know what? That was, I, I like the you. form on that one. I know yeah. you hit it in the net, but I'm giving it's it to pick you. Up. It's a great blitz. He's How there. It's going to work. The touch. Oh. oh. Trying to make it a little too perfect, but. Yeah. Which, is, which again, is uh, stylish. I know. And an admirable quality, but. It's incredible, but there's so much value in this game to just getting the ball back, right? Like exactly. Just being in a situation like that and being able to <laughs> grind mess out. mess up, yes. So, yep. advantage to Briah Baker right now. Yeah, they get need on. this one. This is an important, get on this the is an important game. It's a great to, lob. To stay in it. Just smacked it disdainfully into the night. Nice. Yeah. So this is the fifth week of Chicago League Paddle. And we yet to have a single match that even resembles paddle weather. <laughs> That's true. You yeah, know? you can't see anybody's breath. No. Nope. Nope. I mean, everybody's, you know, got shorts on for the most part. I mean, it is still, you know, it was it was 64 degrees as I <laughs> rolled in today, which yeah. means that right now it's, what, 58? Yeah. <laughs> Since if somebody's went right, down. You're right. If somebody's sweating in a T-shirt, it's obviously not conventional paddle weather. Yeah. Usually. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, that's, that's a ball that Franco is going to enjoy. That that head high right. off the screen. He picks his targets well. Another another reason to, as we used to, well, we used to call, I say used to call it, but uh, we're we can still call it, okay. or we can it used to too. I mean, it's your, it, your decision, bo- right? <laughs> when we volley the ball. It's more of a body block. Yeah. Instead of sticking your paddle out. 
three or four feet yeah. to one side or the other. You get if you body block, you usually get a little more control. Yeah. And usually it's, a little bit more. It's a very weird dynamic, especially for players that have you know so much of a muscle memory off the tennis, tennis board or yep. whatever their other yep. racket sports He's are. They're a great position. What a pick. Um, but you know, there's nothing in tennis. You would never intentionally play a ball off your body and then paddle hit. You have to train yourself to. If you can line up so that the ball would hit your belly button, that's your perfect position. Exactly. And it's such a bizarre thing to do. No. Matter of fact, you still see it. I mean, you have you have players that are fantastic paddle players that just cannot make that adjustment. And if they have world class hands, you're about to see that actually a little bit from uh, probably Modic Chervinsky here Chirinsky, in the no next question about in it. the next match. He's a guy who might hit more forehand volleys than anybody. I know, maybe yes. with the exception of like uh, Brian Compton, who who stands a little bit farther back and, than, and, than and Monica's, he swings but at half of them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so they're they're like roller volleys, right? And so your options are to like be in the right position and play the backhand, or to just have like world class athletic skill. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, which which I can't relate. What, what's that like? I uh -huh. Can't even imagine what it's just like. Even in the metaverse, I don't think I'll ever. Uh, even in the metaverse. Nope. Down seven hundred billion dollars today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. All right. Oh, oh, oh that so ball was almost that. gone forever. That's right. That's where there's something from the X Files in those trees. I I, I went back there. <laughs> it's a cerulean blue. I know. It's a really. These windscreens are a cerulean yes. blue, yes. like a gentle breeze. Yeah. Oh man. Well, it's one of those where there's a colony back there, and if you bring the authorities, nobody's there anymore. They just leave. Yeah, exactly. All right. Back to All right. Deuce. Here we go. Deuce again. They're fighting. Yeah, this is this is a tough one right here. Because you're in the middle of a set, you're fighting hard, and the maybe one of the best things you can do is do less. I know that's a weird thing to say. Uh. But like Mike is, you know, hitting big serves and that last forehand volley that he chased I think was gonna go long, but right. he made an early move on it to try to poach it and it's almost like just you know, forcing yourself to to freeze up a little bit and just play percentages. You're right, Coach. Easy for me to say, but he might want to loop. Oh, I was going to say these serves in because yeah, it's easy for me to say as well. I was just going to say that, that it's such warm weather. Um, if it's going to just it's going to play it off the screen. If you hit it too hard, yeah, uh, they're just going to get a screen drive out yeah. of it. So you may as well, you know, if you do that, if you can't hit the nick for that matter. Yeah, I'm a big believer still in the idea that early in matches you have to play a couple of points that are perhaps. Uh, non-traditional yes. or, or investment points, maybe. So like maybe that. you got to change your formation early. Maybe you got to serve, you know, different spots. And you also have to play a point in which you just hit 90 balls in a row, soft down the middle, and see what happens. Like yes. Who's gonna Who's gonna jump on it? Who's gonna get impatient and blitz? Who's gonna be able to come up with a drive? You know, and and you know, if that wins you a point, <laughs> then Absolutely. just Absolutely. just buckle up for your three-hour match and no hit question. every ball soft in the middle. But it's really, you know, hard to do when it's 62 degrees as well. No question. And I guess one of the points I was actually trying to make was with overhead serves, and if you watched any of the I-355 Open uh, a week ago. The Medina uh, Cup, yes. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's what the, we're calling it now. So, Sean, get with the program. But anyway, <laughs> no, I don't know. I blow it, you know. <laughs> well, Sean's fired. So, uh, Great roller. Uh, but uh, if you watched uh, the eventual champions, while Tyler Frazier... Uh, has a, a great overhead serve. He can seem to be, hit the nick area on just a regular basis. Yep. But they're always ready for a screen drive. Right. And on a regular basis. But Adam Morgan made it made made a living off that underhand serve. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just basically sits. It's yeah, sits it, down. We, it, he wasn't hitting anything hard. Nope. He was just putting enough spin on it where it was dipping, and right. he made like 96 percent of it his first crazy. volleys. It was <laughs> I mean, crazy. It was like yeah. if he hit 100 first volleys, he must have only missed you know yeah. two or three maybe. It was I mean, just and the, and the score is reflected. I mean, it's not. It, it's it's amazing because just because you'll see a two and two match doesn't mean it was a blowout, and I'm not saying it was, but it was convincing. And part of it was they just didn't miss. Yeah. You know, especially on the on the serve that way. So, yeah, this is a great point, by the way. Oh yeah, he's there. Get over. That's not gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> he missed. He's human. I think that's the first lob. Believe it or not, Coach Franco's missed. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. Uh, that would be an unforced error because technically that was to him. 
One of the cool parts about Chicago Paddle Night is having all the teammates in the hut get. <laughs> watching the match yeah. so you can hear them <laughs> razzing each other <laughs> in the middle of in the middle of sets. Yep. Ooh, Speed. came up with got it. it. Nice Amazing. hands. Oh, oh, clip it, Cal. Wow. Press F12. F12, hit it. Good. F F is in Frank. Very good. Never mind. Well, you got to be. You got to click on OBS and then hit F12. Great return right back at you, says Mike Jabrai. Two can play at that game. That was a great return by Coach. Maybe I'm it's F9. It, Coach. it could be F9. 40-15. This technically is a set point here, by the way, a.k.a. match point, because the first set, if you just tuned in, already went by, and due to time constraints, we moved ahead in the broadcast. <laughs> due to our ability to control time travel. <laughs> Sit. It's fine. We've mastered it. Oh, that is bad luck at this point in a match. you kidding me. Sorry. you got to click start replay buffer. See over there on the right side, start replay buffer? Yeah. Now if you hit F12 just to test it. That was the game score, by the way. Great return again. When the chips are down. Uh, Deuce here? Mike Jabari comes good with the return. Yes, do back to Deuce. So they, they are not going gently into the, well, I was just, you know, I just totally jinxed That's okay. we Doc trying, Baker. We what did I do that off. for? I'm sorry. I have to send him a fruit basket or something. So I blew it. Oh. oh nice. And I think hey, F1? that is it. F1 maybe? All right. Well, a lot of great action here for court number two at Lovely. Okay, they are this. still alive. Wow. Yeah. Get a little transition mix in there. Well, anyway. Hey, Cal, why don't we hear a little bit from uh, Illinois Bone & Joint? Yeah, our, 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 our title sponsor. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find it. And we're back. So we're just setting up here. We're going to go to the court one match. Everybody's going to pop out there and warm up. John Noble and Brad Smith playing for Knollwood against Jay Waldenberg and Modic. I assume no. Modic Chervinsky. There he is. He's I didn't there. see him walk in the hut. He was the only you know one what? that I had seen I think he shaved yet. a little bit, too. So, not that I keep track of that stuff. He was trying like to I'm reduce his, wind resistance. His, <laughs> like I'm on, his, I'm on his TikTok page. Just check it out. Yeah. Every Fun day. fact, Modic usually shaves his whole body like a swimmer. <laughs> Get ready for battle Doesn't matches. Doesn't everyone. It's amazing. <laughs> It's a surprising advantage. You'd never expect it. I just don't like to use the cream. I, I know yeah. it sounds weird. But so anyways. speaking of, uh, hey, Cal, you want to switch to a corner cam real quick? So speaking of, uh, you know, things that I was talking about that not everyone can do, as you watch Modic uh, warm up here heck? in the ad side, Look you're going to see him hit one-handed on, backhands, one-handed flick backhands the entire I, time. I thought Federer retired. No, he, no, actually, uh he, he just started playing paddle and changed his name. Wow. That's that's disgusting. Okay. Federer now apparently repped by Xenon instead yeah, of Uniqlo. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> he didn't need the 300 million. Quick, he was quick, like, forget it. Not anymore. They settled. Yep. Amazing. Wow. We'll just get a little quick bit. Quick camera more. adjustment here. we we'll try a little bit more mood music here. We'll get that. That's, that's, that's amazing. 
And I thought, here I thought he had a two-handed backhand. Monik? Yeah. No, I don't think he ever played a two-hander. What was I thinking? I mean, I don't know. he probably could if he wanted to. <laughs> He's probably one of those guys that if you were just like, oh. Are you trying I, to figure out how to spell Chervinsky? I, I can is, figure is that out. Your, is that what you're shooting for? Yeah, we might have to, so uh, Smith and Noble on the top time. Yep. Uh, Cal, are you familiar with uh, John Noble? As, as being uh, Cal Noble, is there any relation there? Got no? it. No, okay. You're his notary? Oh, <laughs> amazing. What a coincidence. And okay, then uh, uh, Marek Chervinsky and uh, Jay Waldenberg. So, Marek is M-A-R-E-K, by the way. And uh, last can, name? C-Z. C-Z. E-R. E W-I-N-S-K-I, I believe. Yeah, you can cut and paste it in there if you want to, if you find it on the website. If you can. Let me know. Hey, Sean, what are we listening to? Yeah, heck if I know. I just threw it on there. With I like it. Some, is this something you put together in your studio? You know, it is. It is. God, I'm proud of you. You're such a talented guy. <laughs> Listen, if there's another live stream out there that has, you know, dozens of viewers that also <laughs> is doing a sport that, you know, very few people have heard of while simultaneously mixing and editing their own music, right. producing well, their own music for the broadcast. I would just love to meet them. We just get sued every too often. So <laughs> we decided to go DCMA. Decide, yeah, we got yeah, yeah. we to do that. So let's we'll do another. Yep. All right. Well, this is a fun one. We know all these guys really well. Uh, over here in the ad side, Marek Chervinsky. Uh, who I think played tennis at Illinois. He did. And has uh, been a teaching pro for maybe the last uh, 10 years or so, I'm going to guess, something like that. Yes. Could be a little less. He's a relatively young guy. Um, he's not old and decrepit like I am. Um, so, but, you know, has a lot of shots, loves the screen drive, you know, big forehand, you know, obviously has a ton of control over the backhand, moves well. By the way, if you're old and decrepit, I, I got to be something out of the X Files. <laughs> What is that thing? <laughs> uh, the, the Mummy in 1998 was written about us, Sean. That's, that was great. I miss Brendan Fraser. Me too. Um, and so then his uh, partner, Jay Waldenberg, you want to press number three there on the camera so we can get a view of Jay? No, yes, number, hold number on. Oh, sorry. There you go. Yeah, there's, there's Jay Waldenberg right here, who I would consider to be a crafty veteran. He, you know, plays statistical paddle. He is always, you know is always concerned about, you know, the reduction of errors. He can step up and hit the ball primarily on his forehand side. He doesn't do a ton with his backhand, maybe sort of a two-handed push drive, but he'll he'll work positioning and placement all day. Typical, good hands, good volleys. Typical highway department employee. The, uh, <laughs> top he's got there. Yep. But, you uh, you will not you you will not miss him as uh, he brings the steamroller through. Oh. And then uh, on the far side, uh, John Noble in the gray sweatshirt with the neon Viking logo. Uh, cool looking, by the way. One of the best, speaking of two-handed backhands, pretty much one of the most solid two-handers you'll ever see on a paddle court, even yeah. a tennis court. Yeah, doesn't hit a ton of forehand drives at all, um, which is why he's honestly such a good deuce player, is that like Look he at will, the coordination there. He will occasionally, he played a lot of soccer as well. That was impressive. Um, but he will occasionally, you know, just jump on a reset overhead and, and crush a backhand, you sure. know, just when you're feeling safe. And it's not like he's any slouch off of the forehand screen no. drive. And so, you know, he can hurt you there. And then Brad Smith, the uh, director here at Knollwood Club over there in the red vest yep. on the ad side. Uh, the Brattlesnake, as he's as he's called. Of course, they sometimes call him. He looks a little like Sergio Garcia from here with the. <laughs> he does, he does a little on. bit. Yeah, yeah he, he does a little bit. He's got yeah. a little Sergio happening. He's a, he's a he's a well built Sergio. Exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. And uh, and and Brad. Exactamente. Brad has a monster uh, forehand that he has like one of the shortest backswings, and then he will snap a ball directly at your face. Yeah, he, I um, noticed it. Right there, there it is. And you know what? It's the paddle, so you know it's your fault if you're standing there. Exactly. That's basically how it works. You could have run away and taken it off the screen. So you can, by the way, tell that it is warm out there. When we say warm, you know, 50s. 
Because that last drive that Brad did hit, uh, Jay just let it go to the screen, took one step beyond the service <laughs> came line. Came all the and way came back. Right back. back to him. So yep. if you're not really sure how cold it is, not, forget the fact you can't see their breath at this yep. point. That's a pretty good clue to figure out how warm or how cold something uh, the temperature is when you're watching a paddle match. Yep. It's just an interesting tidbit. Yeah. So this will be a fun one, I think, as well. And also, like, is you know, this is going to be very much about error management and strategy. No you know, you, 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 the tendency would be to keep the ball away from the guys in the ad corners yes. because they have big shots. No question. Uh, but the guys playing on the deuce side are not easy to attack no, either. Not so at all. you're going to have to be very selective about how you move the ball around and. You've you got to make sure, especially where, where John Noble's concerned, see a reset overhead. If it isn't a really, really decent one, he can drive. Yeah. He'll even take a drive off, you know, two feet from the, yep. the baseline on a regular basis. So it's going to be an interesting. Yep, agreed. <laughs> this is always kind of a fun match. Yeah, no question. This is a good matchup as well. Yeah, we'll see. Lighting's phenomenal here at Knollwood. Not that where we used to teach isn't f fantastic. I really we, like these lights, though. We got used to some. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you. That's right. Cal is just reminding us that the courts were moved from the opposite side of the facility, and uh, when they decided to rebuild their hut, they moved the entire thing across wow. uh, the campus. Yeah. Yeah, one one court at a time. I think these are the original courts, and they uh, and they moved them across when they built the new hut. They added an additional court. That's right. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's a good spot. No, it's awesome. I think people like it. I think it's also kind of like far enough on the north side where I don't think it gets pulled for very many tournaments. You know what I mean? It's like a good it's point, like it kind of right. like when yeah. they're when they're running. Uh, nationals and or finals and there were something. charities and that kind of stuff at glenview club and that's like home base um they tend to not get this far north when they, i mean you know, there's just so right. many courts you know in chicago that like you can you can run into you know 10 other facilities that all have six courts before you get anywhere close well it's probably i don't know a big membership here coach i'm not even sure is it a, not, no, not not really? huge yeah okay. not not compared to some other because I was going to say, sometimes you can run into if the if the membership's huge and you have only a oh. certain amount of course. Look at them duck out of the way. It's just like the Matrix over there. But anyway, uh, you can run into problems where the members want <laughs> they want court time and hey, what's going on? Oh, charities. Yeah, you know, that's actually very interesting how that happens mostly at smaller clubs. Yes, where you have people that are just so used to having the court time that Anytime they, they, they want. show yeah. up and go like, what's going on? There is a reservation. And you're app? like, I'm sorry, you didn't read my email, but we are booked for this. Wait a minute. I didn't hear about day. a reservation app. When did that <laughs> we happen? We have a reservation system. <laughs> yeah, we've had one since 1997. <laughs> oh, it's good to know. All right. So pretty much a let's see if we can pull something else out of here. We'll go. What do we got? Let's try this. This will be a little European type of stuff here. <laughs> Like a Euro you know, or the Autobahn. Drop thing. the beach on. <laughs> but we are ready to go here. And this is court one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the court one match that the previous one was our court two. Well, I was actually thinking, you know, numer numerically is a court one. But, you know, I... Numerically, this is court one. But I think that uh, for scheduling purposes, they had to play uh, courts two, courts three, and four two, three, and at four the 630, 630 slot. Yep. Got it. So it's like an opening act and, yeah. and the marquee right here. Yeah. Not that every one of them isn't uh, phenomenal in their own right, Coach. Yeah. Also, Chicago did just recently move the start of their league play to 6.30 instead of 7 p.m., and I do think it's a difference maker. I love it. When it comes to, I mean, it's just, you know, the facilities that have a lot of teams and are, are splitting courts all the time, it's just so difficult to, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, you're supposed to start at 7. Everybody warms up at 7.20. You know, you might have a long three setter, and all of a sudden it's you know, nine forty, and people yeah, are going right. on court it's, for the first exactly. time. Exactly, and it isn't like it's a weekday, or a weeknight, I should say. And so, you do, most a weekend. people do have to. Most people have to work the next day. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it can be, 
So it, it can be a little like a bit lot, of a difficult you know, dynamic. A half so hour, I think but it does make a difference. No, yeah, it's a, I, I think it's actually a huge. And yeah. there's there's uh, plenty of facilities around here that have light ordinance that like you are you required to really shut your lights point. off yep. at ten fifteen or yep. ten thirty, and it's like then everybody's freaking out. Last thing you want is to be in the middle of a, you know, starting a third set and being like the lights are going to go off in twenty two minutes. <laughs> That's right. It's like a one big overnight camp, coach. Lights out at ten. <laughs> And, and you, you're making too much noise in your cabin, so shut up. <laughs> well, I have to mention our sponsors that are bringing you the uh, CPTC live stream here for our Chicago leagues, uh, Illinois Bone and Joint, Wind Trust, and yes. Viking. Yes. Are all strongly represented. Hey, and Cal, I think paddles, I built a graphic for uh, our sponsors, but I don't think I loaded it yet. So in between sets, we'll take a look. Good idea. I'm just giving you the heads up. Cal Noble over here running the keys tonight. Yes. On Do, the ivories. Doing the diligence <laughs> on the ivories. <laughs> the fabulous. The keyboard of the live stream. The mellifluous. Yet fabulous. Cal Noble on the, on the ivories. Yeah. Tickling the ivories. Yeah. This is fun to do. It's interesting because if you look over somebody's shoulder while they're running the live stream, it doesn't seem all that complicated. But then I remember that only 1% of the population knows how to turn on a computer. So <laughs> as it turns out, it's actually between the between the three of us, there's plenty of buttons to push. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. I don't have something a lot. Just got to do something with my hands. I don't know <laughs> it. it calms me down. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Uh, it's an ADHD thing, so. This is my favorite part of the match where Jay Waldenberg gives a detailed synopsis of both players and what they should be doing with the ball to start exactly. off. He's tracked the stats, so he knows for sure <laughs> what everyone's strengths and weaknesses are on paper. Well, he sure isn't telling jokes out there. Not that he's not a fabulously funny man. <laughs> But uh, he's probably not. Okay. <laughs> I love him. So he's in it. So here we go. He's in Monica it. Chawinski to serve All to start right. the festivities off, Coach. Look at the pick. Come on. Really? Yeah. Uh, never half volley and paddle unless <laughs> you're Monica Chawinski. <laughs> it's incredible. Here's, that's a That's a typical Brad swing, and that looked like he missed by a lot, but... That is, uh, he's going to turn that on. Right. And they weren't laughing about the fact that he missed that. <laughs> nope. That was somebody else's really good. What a there shot. There we go. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> How did he know he was blitzing? Just sees things more, more quickly than everybody else. So that's a great serve. Kind of a sicko serve there. All right, so that's 40. one. That's the only exposure that I think John would have on the deuce side is that if he lets that go to the screen, it's going to kick so far away from him yes. that it becomes a problem. That's a good yes. move. Get that, get that. Nobody's, no. nobody's backing off on no that way. one. That it's is, a tennis point. Yep, that is a knife fight at that point. All right, 40 15. Hey, bought that that's one. Good hands. Get out of town, yep. John Noble. Yep. He'll be and here you'll all see week. This, you'll see this a lot from all four of these players, honestly, but from Brad and John in particular because Brad just can put so much action on his forehand drive sure. that you will just see John take off. When he sees Brad wind up for the ball, he is moving forward. Which is which is impressive enough. Well, Javinsky holds. It's kind of like uh, walking the first three batters and striking out the side after that, though. Because <laughs> he, yeah, he, got, he got up 40 love and then... Uh, Lost two points and then, then, you, then you got it out at the end. Yeah. Okay, so love one. Yep. At this temperature, I would be pretty surprised if we saw this match slow down. Um, sure. Probably from everybody but Jay. I think gotcha. Jay likes to control the pace of a match and is perfectly willing to, he wants to win more than he wants to hit big shots. Sure. Um, but I also think the ball is moving enough here where you're just going to see everybody kind of drive nope. a lot, no put question. a lot, put a lot on their overheads. Yes. Um, because you don't get to do that for the whole season. You no, know, you it's, don't. It's, no, it's, not not when it's this warm. The temperature drops advantage. and you can't put this level of spin sure. on the ball and it doesn't bounce up high enough to drive all the time. But I mean, you're going to see you're going to see Modic just kind of go after 
a lot of shots like that in yep. those situations. He's got some serious top on that thing. 30-15. Nice scoop. Nice cut there by wow. John. Stylish. One of the things that you see also from John and Brad that you don't see enough from players is John signaling serve location so that he knows where to set up for his volley. Hugely advantageous. Backhand drive. Um, to know where your partner is planning on no serving question. the ball. Not sure. everybody can pull it off with this level of precision, but, but I mean, I like it that John mixes it up, and then he already knows where he's going to stand as soon as the ball shows up. And so... You There's also, just a little less guessing, a little less shifting. You also got to presume that uh, Brad can hit it there because uh, if you're playing with me, you're pretty much <laughs> wasting that sign. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, the, <laughs> you, you want me to hit it where? I said serve down the tee. I was trying. <laughs> I'm trying to hit every serve down the tee. <laughs> that oh, one has some. That's, wow. that's, that's why he's called the Brattle Frozen Snake right both. there. Frozen both. Yep. All right. 1-1. One, one. Onesies. This is going to be entertaining. It already is. <laughs> it, already, it already is. All right. Fresh from the highway department. Just kidding. So, uh, Jade Waldenberg going to serve. Took that one early oh, enough. Oh, that's such hands. a great pick. Oh. Serious hands. Wow. Yep. Yeah, see, here's the thing, Coach. If I had hit a return that well, and lost the point, I would just leave. <laughs> that is one of the parts of paddle that can be so frustrating yeah. is you can absolutely hit your best shot, and if somebody plays it the right way, wow. Did he get that back? That I believe so. You know I don't what, think it hit him. You know what's funny? He's got a little bit of a Federer smile to he him. He does, Doesn't yeah. He? he does a little bit, yeah. Just notice that. Anyway, crazy. Oh. That's too bad because Jay absolutely played that correctly. Jay is very good at playing his role, and yes. he's gonna let he's gonna let Stravinsky move around a lot at the net, and then only close in if he cuts off a volley, right? And no so, question. like you know, Jay did the right thing. He it's just sad. happened to clip the tape, but Jay's always been very good at that. What a great shot nice from pick. John! Uh oh, thought it was question out. about the call. Modic played it. I think he called it out, uh, it even though so he, Jay called it out? even though he made the stretch. Gotcha. Somebody did. I also thought it looked long. It's a good reset. Nice. He's there. Nice switch. Great roller. Great lob. Uh huh. Yeah. Sometimes it's not so much depth, just height. Give yourself some time. Touch by to, John. Oh. Good play. By the way, those of you watching at home, that's not easy to do. No, that is a great drop shot, and Jay yeah. is still almost there because it's exactly, exactly. you know warm 59 enough, 59 degrees. Right, yeah. but just from from up about shoulder level, not easy to hit a drop shot that way. It is still 40-30, by the way. They played that one nicely. Great yeah. touch. From yep, that's a smart. It's a smart close by Waldenberg there to see that it was a little hard and Brad's going to look for that ball right, every time. To deuce. Great shot by Jonathan. Just called it. Oh, the thing did not nice come roller. up for air. Really good roller from Yeah, I don't know. That was Mr. pretty close. Smith. We're sitting on the line here. And yeah. Jay, Jay might have given him that one, but, I mean, that, that could have that could have yeah. clipped it. I mean, It just came in so hot. It's yeah. difficult to see. I think I might have caught the clip, clipped the edge of it. Nice shot, That's Brad. Shot. That's a good play. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. That's a good touch. Nice. Oh, great point. There's nothing. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> He's like, I totally got there. What are you talking about? Super uh, spin. Good, yeah, great point. Coach Smith there. He is Sergio Garcia. That thing just, it's like one of those, his wedges that suck back <laughs> yeah, off the green. Yeah, exactly. He can, he can draw it back yeah. across the green. <laughs> it's impressive. All right, so we'll break there for Smith and Noble. Uh, two serving one? You bet. All right. So I, I, I just was uh, reminded of this. 
And it's a tennis story. I, I've got to tell you, just because of what John just did, I used to play, uh, I have to play just the doubles when I was uh, getting out of college with some of these, I'm just going to say older guys mm -hmm. at this country club. Bernie Kaufman. I don't think Bernie's around anymore. He was 85 back then, right? Bernie had to hit <laughs> I mean, his, he could be. His, I suppose it's possible. <laughs> That's another X-Files episode, though. <laughs> and he looks fantastic, by the way. 127. That's right. He just he always asking about your liver. But anyway, yeah. so, uh, but uh, Bernie would, oh, you got, I thought he had a good shot at that one. But anyway, it's tough to go uh, down the line anyway, off a ball like that. that. But Bernie, change, Bernie yeah. would have to serve the ball into the back fence twice before he would hit this serve to the corner or to into the box. <laughs> so people would just have to sit there and wait for an, a minute, minute, 15, while he'd hit into a ball. The, into the fence behind the back yeah. yeah. And then he would have to go get it and then hit it again. Right. And so nobody wanted to play with him because he, yeah. So I'm and, not saying John. Nobody was wanted doing that. to bring up the rule about how much time you have no, in between. No, no, he would waste it all, just like that, you know. And uh, I'm not saying John was doing that, by the way. No. So 30-15, what a return. Great placement it's there on the transition get that drive. Hey, yep. Jay's there. Good scoop. Mm -hmm. oh. That's another thing. That, uh, that that's another thing that Brad uh, does particularly well is he, when he puts spin on his overheads, yes. he doesn't hit them crazy fast. Nope. And so, like, by, you know, slowing it down enough but still making that ball spin, yep. you know, it can cause a little bit of indecision. It's not just immediate reaction all the time. Absolutely. That's a good pace for that. That's going to get to the side screen. Yep, caught the nick. Judge his radar with that right there. That but impressive. that's the that's the right transition, right? I mean, it they is. they put a ball into Modic's corner to One the point three. where he had to come all the way over to the side screen, yep. right? And so Jay has shifted, and then when they get the short lob, nice shot. Yep, right transition back, yeah, ball. Let's do it again. Everybody, do it. Oh, how dare you lob it, Modic? Like we were having a fun. Ride at Disney World. I think that either that or yeah, good shot. One of those. Uh, Homemade carnivals. That's the tilt a whirl right there. Nice lob from Jay. Oh, Great yeah. shot. Somebody. Oh, oh, you're kidding. Oh, he's there. He's Reed Richards with yep. that right there. I mean, how did he even reach that ball? No, just oh. a little late on the decision, Good maybe, leave. but what a great point. Unbelievable. More to your point, Coach. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. I'll, I'll switch it for you. Great serve. Tough. From Modic. Tough serve. Yeah, nobody wants to watch a World Series, Coach. We would much rather watch the CPTC Live Stream. <laughs> World Series. The World Series is Come on? on? man. It's a good shot, John. What is this? Uh, the... the the Astros and the Astros and the Philadelphia Phillies and the Josh. Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> Great serve. It's that kind of serve that will always be a problem. Yep. Enough spin where it goes at the, yep, you know, corner where you can't just immediately read it. Nope. And it does Monic's shoot. gonna doesn't it, shoot out too quickly. Monic has this overhead. Ugh. Oh, I like the thought, but caught on the stretch. Um, Monik has this overhead where he can start putting enough spin on it where instead of it kicking and jumping off the screen, it slides. Slides on yeah, the screen. And, and yep. No, no, not off the screen. It, it slides Along the opposite the direction because yeah, 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 it's got say. so much slice on it exactly. that like it kicks and stays low. And it really becomes a nightmare when he changes up <laughs> between the two of them so he can hit... The, he can hit the one with a bunch of spin that we kicks to the right. We saw him do that. We saw him do that with the serve, I think. Yeah. Uh, the second, the first game. Yeah, and then the he can, now. and then he can cut under it enough, where it like slides off the deck and comes directly at you instead. It is an unpleasant experience. Well, I don't think that's very sportsmanlike uh, to be doing that to people. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> You made me feel stupid. That's exactly. Well, Smith and Noble seem to have the answer for everything tonight, right now, being up 4-1. But it is still early in the proceedings, Coach. Yeah, they're they're in uh, in the driver's seat here. But it is a game of of momentum. Yes. And so we're gonna see we're gonna see some adjustments from both teams. This is where 
this is Waldenberg's strength where he's going to slow it down and look for, you know, have the discussion about, like, how are we winning points, how are we losing points, and, you know, what do we need to go after in order to change things up a little bit. Exactly. That's a good shot. Yep. There's that right hip. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's interesting is you'll you'll see Jay occasionally miss a drive, like, you know, sure. trajectory wise, but it's he never overhits it. Great like it's not he, he, no. he's not like crushing a ball to no. the point where it didn't have a chance of going in the court. No. Um, and it really he can he can mix up spots well. His his precision can be an issue. Yeah, mixing speeds is very underrated, coach. Yep. Good overhead here. Because you hit your drive the same speed the whole time. A really good team's going to get used to it. It's that gonna is going to move, but not enough. No, oh, wow. it did move enough. Monica was almost there too early. Wow. I would check his paddle. There's no way that that's supposed to be legal. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, and now we're going to see John Amazing. change up oh, the formation. Really Smart. Good. Yep, John. John is going to, you know, going to. 40 15. Keep him honest. Yep. That's good love. Yep, smart play. Yeah, nice ball. Man, he just so far. Yeah. Smith yeah, and I th I think it can be smart uh, bullets basically. Uh, yeah, and I think it can be really tough, especially you know when two players can change up their pace oh, like yeah. that. You know. And oh, yeah. I think Brad and John are particularly good at that when it comes to overheads. Like, I think they hit different styles of overhead, and so it's more to deal with in the backcourt. Sure. And right. I think that uh, I think Modic and Jay can pose a problem with the different speeds of their drives. Exactly. Wow. I like that decision. He just, so, didn't, he just didn't go at anybody. Nope. He just kind of flicked it, thinking that somebody was going to try to cut it off. Exactly. And 15 love. See if Woldenberg and Cherwinski can get jump back in here. It's a great He's shot. There. Yep. So is Monty. Nice track. Beautiful up. It's a good transition back. All right, let's see if uh, Jay and Modic focus on the lob here for a while. Is sure. what I would expect from them at, you know, one five. Ah, I like the thought. I suppose when you are up one five, you can try a few of those. You know, even there, though, to be honest, I don't think that's a one five thing. I think that if you get a floater and you have the amount of spin that Brad can put on a ball, sure. you kind of take your swing. I suppose. Never been in that position, so it wouldn't go. <laughs> 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 of course, I can't relate to that. I'm going to say it's low percentage because I've never been there. Uh, that was a good pickup from Jay right there. Oh, a little wide. Yeah. And they are back One in. One of those uh, situations where you have somebody right where you want them, and you know they're in trouble, and so you try to hit, like, the perfect shot. Exactly. He was like, if I put this in the corner, we win this point, and it's just a not quite enough space there. Here we go. He's doing the Bernie Kaufman here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Bernie Kaufman. <laughs> I, too, would do the Bernie Kaufman, except mine was to eat a steak sandwich in between serves. <laughs> you know what, Sean? God bless you. No, you're okay. I sneezed all over Cal. So all right, here we go. So <laughs> the always important eighth game. That's right. And uh, Smith and Noble relying on the home court advantage, Coach. Yeah, and I will not... Uh, I will not be surprised if we see some high levels of patience here, mostly because that's how that's nice. smart. That's uh, smart. Oh, yeah, good stab. Mostly because that's how uh, Monica and Jay have won their, yep. their couple of games there is by kind of changing the pace a bit. 
on the I slower think we call side it mojo. of life. Nope, Sid. That was a great that is a, serve. Yeah, real tough serve. Monik wanted to drive it, and then it kicked enough, and then it was going to kiss the side screen, and he had to make oh. that decision. Jay's going to get a little, little kiss Where's off the, the left court. Where's the home court advantage, right? Where's the, what is the definition of home court advantage, Sean? I'm just going to keep bringing it up until you ask about it, and then I'm going to you know, I'm gonna avoid it. This one. <laughs> then I'm going to avoid yeah. it. Wow, Let's that's drive. just a tough... That thing did. That's, that's a lot of moving for Monik to come up with two high quality drives like that. Yep. I mean, the, both of them just low. He just dropped off a table. Yep. He played that. I guess he had no choice. The ball is right at you. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can definitely end up in situations where you have to block a ball to yep. get out of trouble. For sure. Communicating a little better down the center. Yeah. It's a great reset off of a lob that good. good. Call. That was a great yeah, reset. You know, nice set, shot, John. The reset from Smith set that whole mm -hmm. thing up. Yep. Not that John didn't make the shot because he did, but that was just a great reset off of a really good lob. Smart. Oh, mm. tough from there to change direction, especially going down the line on a paddle court. Yeah. Tennis court, you could probably clear the net with a little more margin, but paddle court, that thing's not just going to fly if you clear the net by too much. It's a great lob as well. That's that's smart. A, that's the ball that I think Monik was trying to set up on the last one. Yep. Where he better from that higher position, I think. No question. Smart, great lob wow. location. That, okay, cause. once once more, not easy to do for nope. those of you playing at home, what he just did. Yep. Crossing over and hitting it reverse cross court and finding an angle like that. Good hands. Wow. Yeah, they've turned a corner here, so let's just see if they can take advantage. It looks as though they got a, a yep. break point here. You know, Noble Jump really right back can hit, like he can step back and hit his backhand drive oh, inside out yes. like as good as anybody yes. i mean it's pretty nuts it's uncanny he, and he can hit it hard yeah i mean it's which he, is he can really move the spots around with that backhand which is just not easy to do yeah uncharacteristic serve fault there to give up the game by john one other thing he had a pretty big serve in tennis too oh, there's the there's the swing volley i've been waiting for Really good lob there by Jay. Wow, good hands from Coach Smith. Oh yeah. There is nothing better than the super difficult uh, grind in which your partner says all day. <laughs> that is one of my favorite parts of any sport. That level of support. Sure. This is the get of your life, but you maybe could do this in your sleep. Nice. Oh, he I love that. You know what? If I had his back in, I'd try the same I know. thing. You know? And he made the last one. <laughs> right. Why not? You know, it's more of a percentage shot. Everybody else probably shouldn't be trying that. But you know what? John can try that. It was maybe a little low in the strike zone for him at that point. Oh, deep. Good he miss, it. He Jay. Didn't Smart. It. He didn't touch it. That was close, but he didn't He let touch that it. go on yep. purpose. He was just trying to <laughs> destroy their confidence. No way was that delivered, as uh, <laughs> one of our coaches used to say. So Best pizza in a cup ever. <laughs> 30 love. Yep. You can just see John creeping in when That's he knows. Nice shot. He's there. Nice pick. Nice. He's there too. Oh, great point. Both sides. For a minute, I thought he was going to try a tweener. I was like, well, you got to be kidding me. All right. Well, 30 15. Awesome point. Oh, a little deep. It's a nice serve. I really like it that Monarch's shirt just says volley. Yep. <laughs> How incredibly apropos. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that was a serve we were talking about. Yep. So a little change of pace. Kicks a little different. Mm hmm Still got a 40-30 advantage here for a hold point to get to 5-4. 
Wow, it's a great love. Wow. He hit it. Good eye. That's a good point. Wow. So five. That's a good four. point. Four. Yep. Amazing. Man, Brad absolutely crushed that forehand yeah. off of a roller. And the downside being that it's a temperature where it didn't really help him. No, <laughs> it just gave him extra no. time so to catch right. up to the ball. But he uh, he hit that so clean. Yeah, you drop the temperature 20 degrees, that thing doesn't come up. Yeah, right, right. Or at least it's, you know, a Much desperation yeah, stab dig. instead of like, a, oh, I'll just lob it, no problem. No question. Well, to your point, they have kind of slowed things down, yeah. played a little more yep. pa patient, and they are back in this thing. Yep. Uh, Brett Smith still. Yeah, controlling be. the speed of a match is just so difficult to do. Um, Serving for the. It's going to work. Oh, they touched him. Yeah, if there was a sportsmanship award, I think John's in the running for it all on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he plays it right. No question. Nice. Yeah, that's a smart uh, volley from yep, John. Way to capitalize on the blitz. Yeah, as good as blitz. The, the early are, read on right, the blitz. Right, exactly. Oh, as good as Modic's hands are, it's a difficult shot moving backwards like that. 15-30. He got oh, it. He got it. He got oh, nice try. I clipped the line. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ole that one too. Uh, I'm yeah, not, I'm not getting in front of that thing. No, I think that the, you know, I hate to say it, but if Modic could just hit the ball harder. <laughs> um, you know, it, 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 he just it, sometimes he just it's like he's afraid to swing. And if he could just take the safeties off, I think he'd have yeah, more success. On. Stop babying the ball. <laughs> Whoosh bag. Great overhead there from I John. Was, I think he... That's oh, yeah. a good one, oh, too. Yeah. Jay's Watch there, though. That. Nice pick. pick. Get over. Oh, he got he it. Does. Heads up. Smart. Okay. Now they slow everything down. Yep. Nice move by Brad. Oh. He just jammed him up a little bit, yep. but Brad made such a good move. And now John is saying, like, you don't have to come that far over if you don't want to. I did recover. <laughs> and it's not like... But but you have to tell your partner that, yes. right? Because, like, Brad felt like he had to make a move. Exactly. And by making the move to the middle, he exposed himself to that volley where he got jammed totally. up. You know, that chicken wing volley. And so I think that probably was, you know... It's a good reminder to tell your partner, like, hey, I'll call for help if I need you to watch, you know, to poach on a volley. Especially the lively drives in this kind of weather. It's very difficult to control them. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It is interesting how, especially at this temperature, I spend so much more time standing in the alley Ooh. than any other time. Wow. I can't believe that If you're going to run works. into your partner, you may as well hit a winner like yeah, that. Yeah, no, you have to. You were saying you spend so much time, one more time, I just stepped when it, all when over it's you. Warm, when it's warm like this, you spend so much more time standing in the alley. Yes. You know, because a ball that gets driven through the middle, if you didn't read it right, is going to get, you can get it back every time. Exactly. And so, you know, as the temperature drops, maybe you have to be more aggressive with those shifts, but... Um, yeah, we won't see too much of a temperature drop as the evening progresses. I don't, I don't think so. If anything, Jay's taken off more layers. Absolutely. Not only that, you got to uh, give um, Chawinski yeah. and Waldenberg credit. They have uh, definitely yeah. made not only a match out of it, they seem to be yeah. and gaining you gotta, the momentum here. you got to respect Brad for continuing to wear the vest. <laughs> he, he, you know, I know he, we've talked about it before. He likes to keep the core warm because he feels like he moves better. You make a um, fashion statement. Nice that's what I get. See? And that's the power of the vest right there. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Keeps everything loose so that when you need to stretch, it's there. No risk of injury. Oh! Now that's home court advantage right there. That's a little home court advantage home right cooking. there. Yep. Something smells good. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a great that's shot. That's the prime rib. <laughs> <laughs> they, he was owed one, though. I think they had a uh, neck agreed, yeah. before. Agreed. I think that was, uh, so I think that was a trade back. Exactly. Oh, oh, there's another, another one. one. He got it. Great roller. Mm -hmm. Well, he picked it up. Yep. Not only can he put that much spin Sick. on the ball, but he lets it drop so low. Yep. I mean, he's only hitting it from six inches above the net, so it's just not going to come up that high. Wow. 
Oh, that's tough. good hands yeah, from that's Jay Wallenberg. Legendary. All right, 15.30. Yes. Wow. Might have getting his hands up at the last second. No question. Not really the poach he was looking for no. to come directly at him. I would have warned Which it. was a smart play by Brad to change it up when he saw him move. No question. Oh, gets a little oh, swing a little, happy. A little wide. It's easy to do. You know what? I gotta, I'm got just going to give the guy credit when you're that talented. <laughs> well, I know. And this, is, and this is one of those things we, I mean, we even talked about when we were live streaming um, the Medina Cup is that, like, you get some of these guys, Brian Compton, as we talked about earlier, Brian Compton as yep. well, like, they just don't mind hitting forehand volleys and their no, prep is so good the serve. That, yeah. that they'll overplay shots because they'll be like, well, this should be easy. I'll just volley it into exactly. this perfect spot. <laughs> All right. I think that was our no, first set. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sorry. It is 6-5. Six, six, five. Five, Noble six, five. can serve it out here. I was going to say also about Brian Compton. It's funny. Uh, he's one of those guys we joke about, hey, somebody should tell this guy he's not supposed to be able to swing at the ball like that. Yeah. Um, somebody forgot to tell him. Yeah, and it's interesting how they, you know, can pull it off for the most part. And I got to give credit to, you know, like uh, Tyler and, and Adam as well, because Adam's another guy that will hit a bunch of forehand volleys, but he will never overplay it. No. Nope. That ever. Like, he nope. will. He might miss them occasionally, but it's not because he's trying to, like, Swing at a ball into the no, corner. He very just... rarely does he overhit anything. As a matter of fact, even his drives, while he can hit a drive, uh, rarely does he miss because of it's. Oh, he's just trying to put too much pace on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, that's coming way out. Good duck by Brad. He's. It is getting. John's uh, irritated with that because nobody was closing the net, so he had so to it really didn't have space. to do much yep. with it. It's down low thirty right now. Nice first volley. Good roller. Yeah. Oh, nice move he by gets Jay. It back. It's good footwork by Waldenberg right that's there. Just be, getting out that's of the way. going to be Jay's bread and butter too. He he likes it if you go after it. Backhand so you were talking about. Yeah. He's just he, he's just very good at the counter attack. It. Right. Yep. Oh, here we go. Get Jay's there. Smart. Switching back. Hey. Yeah. Oh, he he walked a mile for. Hey. <laughs> a beer right that one was. <laughs> Took the sick new scenic route. What a shot. Nice. Good leave. Man, that's tough. All right. We looks like we got a tiebreaker happening, coach. Which you know it's only fitting. A T B. Right. Cal, have you scored one of these before? So if you if you zero it out, if you go new game and then click tiebreaker, there you it go. Switch, there you go. Here's, you, see, you can learn. There you go. Okay. Oh, um, perfect. I believed in you, buddy. All right, going Coleman here. Oh, and I jinxed him. No, let's do that over. Sean was talking. <laughs> let's let's play a let. Yep. Can the announcers at the booth was, shut up, please? Yeah, geez, gosh. <laughs> Fire Sean over. <laughs> <laughs> My resignation letter is pre-printed in your top drawer, just in case you need yes. it. Pack your stuff. A no. Good serve from Brad Smith and a quick 2-0 yeah, lead. Is a, this is a tough start to a breaker. Hey, you give away a couple of balls with, on one touch is very, yes. you know, that's tough. It's not that you can't get back into it. It's just that you just feel like you're playing uphill for the whole rest of the breaker. No question. Even if you get back to, you know, even, even. if you get back to even. Good pressure. Get over it. Nice. Just enough pace. Kind of fell and off so at the end. As there. this set has gone on, John and Brad have only gotten more comfortable at the net. Yes. Like they had a little miscommunication early and then they've kind of locked it down the since no then. Look. And now yeah. And now now they're in full, you know, swing at everything, plenty yep. of spin, and they're sure. shifting with every single shot. Early calls, lots of talking. 
mathematically. Nice, yeah. Good move. Still was able to move. pull something off. He yep. Brad's going to get up on left. this. Yep. Good lob. I'll tell you what, Jay's just doing it with mirrors. Guy's amazing. Boom. There. Oh, that was just a oh, great. Oh, that is you know, a tough one. You could one. call that a poach. I know it bounced, but technically, Modic, the quickness to get in front of that. Agreed. Just a huge, huge move, especially to get back into this thing. So here we go. One, two. He's there. That's a sneaky That's shot a from John. Pickup. Yeah. Not an easy lob <laughs> no. from no man's land like that from Jay. Look at that. Oh, what a smart oh, shot from Brad. Really He's smart. been playing that cut that's been spinning back into the net every time that yep. Modic felt like he had to take off. And again, and then right just at stabbed Modic. It. Yeah, yeah. So those of you playing at home. Egregiously agree. Or watching at home. Hands, look at that. Nice dig. That's, yes. that's Super thin. disguise. Yep. It did look like he was going to smack that thing. Yep. That's that one, you know, the 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 same position that he sets up for, and he can hit three different overheads. It's, yeah, it's know? kind of yeah. And so if he every once in a while decides, now nah, I'll just I'll just hit it thin and keep it smooth, it, it, you're yeah. expecting it to come at you and have to take it off the screen, and then it does that. You know, I, I, I'm I'm impressed with it, and yet it makes me nauseous at the same time. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, no, just he's just that good. All right, so 3-2, Smith Noble right now in the tiebreaker. We're still at the first nice. set here at lovely right. Knollwood Golf Club in Lake Forest, Illinois. Are we in Lake Forest or Lake Bluff? Oh, no, we might have crossed into Lake Bluff as we, what a drive as there. we uh, got here to Knollwood. I'm not 100% I'm not of our – we're right on the border. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Great shot. That is a great shot to bring it <laughs> to so serious hand. three all. Yep. Well, almost most of that was it's threes. Try to tell the boisterous crowd what the score is at the same time. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's just a uh -oh. tough dipper there. You know you're going to have to yep. deal with one right there. Anything service line oriented. I'm just going to hide. There's Good no shot. way I'm getting in front of that thing. <laughs> would have run away. Yeah, he say <laughs> he keep coming up. Yeah. All right. 4-3, Wildenberg. Cherensky. It's a good deep serve. Yep. 5-3. Right in the corner. And this is Paddle. If anybody had seen this coming, if you'd been with us since the beginning of the set, I'm not sure you would have believed that this was going to be the where we ended up in exactly the, this, no way uh, no this is a this is a kind of a unique element to the game of paddle yes, what is that you can right. have you know seemingly one team sure. feel like they're dominating and the other team just kind of you know stay alive and then all of a sudden yep. you're in a oh, breaker great drive good from John Noble. unbelievable bringing them back yep so four five smith and noble will serve one point down Still rocking the vest to your point, coach, and I love it. You know, when you go, I I I uh, respect his commitment to fashion. Oh, well, if it, right. if he wasn't wearing the vest, he would have been a little more free to swing at that serve. <laughs> so, oh, it's no, okay. I'll bring it up to him in between sets. Exactly. This is a set point, by the way. Speaking of sets, turn. yep. Let's get spin on that Stays one. That's nine. Head, yep. This is also <laughs> absolutely one of the more difficult things to do. Oh, what a shot. What a He's dig. there. Big, nice shot, Brad. I'm there. Yep, yep, good talk. Nice dig. Get there. Let it go, let it go. Oh, that's a great, wow. great Unbelievable. set. Unbelievable set. 
Well, I tell you what, everyone's getting their money's worth tonight, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, this, this is a good one. This I don't know about anybody else, but I charge the cover. Burner. I yeah. charge the cover. So, no, I was kidding. passing out red solo Ex cups at the door. Exactly. All exactly. right, well, that's our first set. Let's go to Illinois Bone & Joint for our uh, sponsor, Reed, here, and we'll uh, be right back. You bet. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone & Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. Well, we're back, lovely Knollwood Golf Club. We're kind of like the, uh, there's an R&B band called Mint Condition, and every so often in their performances, they get up and they change positions where the, the drummer takes the keyboard player's spot, the keyboard player takes the guitar spot, guitarist takes the sax player's spot. No, I don't think they do that with the sax player because it's very difficult to play sax, but the point I'm trying to make is uh, we just had a little switch up because we're, they're so skilled. Of course, they didn't have me move because I, I'm a one-trick pony, and I'm not even all that fast a pony. So uh, Cal uh, Noble, the uh, what what should we call you? C C C Monkey. C I'm trying to think of it. You know, don't call it a comeback, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Has joined us on the microphone for the second set, and Coach Matt has gone behind the curtain to use a Wizard of Oz uh, reference. But um, I haven't watched anything that's in black and white, Sean. You should know that. I don't understand that <laughs> reference. Well, I thought maybe because your eyesight was that way, just kind of like the average Cocker Spaniel. But uh, what an exciting first set, and I mean that sincerely. It sounds like I'm being uh, sarcastic, but I'm not. That was an incredible first set. Smith Noble jumped out to an early lead, and then Jay Woldenberg and Matic Cherensky just came storming back and took it in a tiebreaker. Barely, but they did. That sounds very sarcastic, Sean. But, uh, you gotta play along, Cal. That's Sorry. part of the yeah, my bad. Okay. Anyway, so, so it's I, I I don't even know. I mean, I like to usually think we can predict what's going to happen in the second set, but at this point, I have no idea. But I can just promise this is going to be uh, definitely an entertaining anybody's endeavor. game That's comes right. to mind. Sean. That's right. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like Brad uh, to uh, Coach Matt's point is doff the vest he's decided to go sans vest here in the second set as he starts at the festivities here on court one again at lovely Knollwood golf club and we I, I believe we already started we did and uh, it is love 15 great first volley these guys hands oh lightning as they say do they say that? They do. Lightning McQueen. We've said it before. Is and we'll from say a movie. It again. Cars. Modic feeling Sean. very good. Almost. I, I, I got the reference there. I'm not that old. Owen Wilson. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Tempting. A lot of those screen drives that get off, come off the screen that high are almost tempting to hit an overhead. And he kind of hit kind of a forehandish overhead. Not an easy shot if you haven't hit it a whole bunch of times in the match. Sometimes you got to get a feel for a shot like that. You know, I was sitting back in the corner doing the score and the cameras and the OBS and the stream and making everything look good. Uh, and I did not realize just how fast Modic's forehand is. Yes. But now I'm literally sitting in front of it, and it is, I'm, like, jolting when yeah. he hits it. Well, they, it's you know ridiculous. What, actually, um, they all hit the ball pretty. pretty yeah, same hard, with but, Brad. But but and John's backhand is kind of the same speed, and Brad's forehand is a missile. So as I said, you pretty much have to have some hands there. That's going to work. 
Oh, unbelievable dig wow. from Coach Smith. You know, I had the displeasure of learning how to play tennis from Brad Smith. Really? And, uh, yeah, he would, every time I would get close to winning, he would, like, pull out that forehand. And in tennis, it's ridiculous. <laughs> And uh, when I would, like, he'd, like, make a questionable call or something, I'd say, oh, BS. He goes, Brad Smith, thanks for playing. <laughs> so I never beat him, ever. Well, that you're, you shouldn't, there's no shame in that. I don't think he's uh, lost too many times. No, to, no. Especially, no. especially to children. Especially yeah. to children, no, yeah. So we are at uh, I, Love One, I lo say. Well, definitely, but who got that? Yeah. What am I, the commentator watching no, that sure. game? Yes. All right, well, that was definitely a point to the Brattlesnake and... Um, yes. I don't know. So, love it. 15, that's yeah. fine. All right. Have that net measured immediately. You know, that's a good question. Has that ever been called in a league night? I, I don't think so. I mean, what pick? That hit, oh, Just out, why? Yeah. Very close. We're talking love 30 here. You know, we've, uh, I've had the, I can't, Sean, I cannot do the score on my phone, though, but uh, I, appreciate I don't think you needed one. to mime it. Yeah, I think it's okay. <laughs> Coach Matt is fixing our sponsorship <laughs> stuff right now. So good volley there. It's going to spin back. Wow. Jay, Jay basically went and got a beer on that one. <laughs> Like you just, you just, and that's part of the play. You just get out of the way, stay out of the action, because you know it's not like they're going to try to. They could, could, I mean, well, Coach Smith could have tried to hit Jay with that ball, but I mean, he was so far off the court, he was trying for the court, and there was so much spin on it from Modic that just that one would it. be a bit disrespectful now. Exactly, <laughs> hit a guy by the door. So I think that's thirty all. Um, I I want to say yes, it is. Yeah. You know we've. I've watched a lot of paddle and sat there for a lot of paddle now over the last year and a half, yep. and I feel like every 40, time somebody, 30, nice serve from Go ahead. somebody loses the first set, it seems pretty hard to come back, but this, these points are going so fast. I think that uh, for once, it, it's, it's more of a fluid situation, if yeah, you Yeah, at this point, they're play this is kind of aggressive paddle, but usually this is the way it's played. Um, if you're going to get away with it, you do it in uh, this kind of temperature. So what an angle off your back foot. Again, not easy to do. Good leave. Wow. And a game. I think it's two zip. Yeah. Uh, life sport. Great return from Jay. So, love 15. Yeah. Wow. Now I'm Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. Yeah, tell you what, they're rolling wow. now. Love 30. Yeah. This happens. Sometimes the tide can turn so quickly. Uh, to quote match. the great George Bush, I feel like you can see a tide turn. I grew up in the desert. I don't know about that, but you see a tide. Did I just say those words? It's a great quote. <laughs> Pardon my terrible George Bush impression. That wasn't terrible. It was horrible. <laughs> so, oh, just that. You know what? When you're rolling, you may as well try that type of stuff. That's not even so much a J, at least since I've been watching him play a play like that. But you know what? You figure you're rolling, you may as well try something like well, that. Well, Sean, you're the music expert, but I believe Adele wrote a song about that, "Rolling in the Deep" or something All like right. that. Quick 3-0 lead for Trinsky and Woldenberg. And to Cal's point, I can't believe I'm saying that, <laughs> but to Cal's point, <laughs> sometimes the momentum shift can stay with you after winning that close first set. And that seems to be what's going on here. Got a little bit of a virtual tidal wave. Let's see if uh, Brad and John can stem the tide. That serve looked a little, well, must have cut the back edge of the line. Again, tribute to John there. He, he played it. There we go, the sponsorships. Look at that. Are up Coach there. McClure. That's beautiful. Hey, I, wow. 
Well, he's just playing basic tennis up there right there. That was an excellent poach, love, uh, 30 love, I should say. Oh. Once again, is it advisable? I don't know. If you're John Noble's level, maybe that was. For me, no way. You got to kick me out of the match if I try something like that. 40 love. Wow. wow. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's it's a Federer thing with this Yeah, I, it really is like. Wow. Who's going to go get that? Well. Cal? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't. Come on, uh, jump out the door. Let's go. John's volunteered. I think what's happening here, and I don't want to speculate and be, um, you know, that I guess. That guy? Yeah, to be that guy, or I guess this would be nepotism, but I think John is going to go out there, and he's going to put some pine tar on the ball, right? <laughs> Isn't that what they do at the pitcher's mound? Um, so, somebody's helping him. Yeah, and uh, I think that's going to win them the match. See, somebody, somebody's in left field. No pun intended. All right, so... If I'm not mistaken, we've already gone around once, so to speak. We bat around. This is four, love four. We've been around the block a few times now. Nice serve. What a return. And look at Woldenberg wow. all over it. It is. I, I cannot believe how fast it is just staring yeah. at these guys. Everybody is uh, supremely talented. Well, I've seen court. Jay play a bunch of times, and um, regardless of who he's playing with, there, he's a good front runner, able to put pressure on his opponents. An incredible return, by the way, from Modic. Missed the serve. I tell you what, it's pouring and raining for, for Coach Smith and, uh, and Mr. Noble here. Gonna swing away. All it takes, one point. Yep, 15-40. I mean, let's not forget, Sean, who was down 5-1. That's a good point, Cal, for once, <laughs> I have to say. Wow, he's really, t he's really letting it loose. As a tennis still player, still 30-40, and still 30-40. As a tennis player, and I'm using that term very loosely, <laughs> it is bizarre to see them returning the serves like s just standing where they stand. Yes, they're not even looks like they're not even trying to play the oh. box. Brutal. No. All right. Well, somebody's either got a plane to catch or they're point shaving or something. But no, I I, I still say. This, they can get on the board here and maybe make a little bit of a play because these guys, and I'm talking about Brad and John, a little too too talented uh, not to still be somewhat in this thing, even though it seems like they're out of it. Well, I don't want to be them. too cliched, Sean, but you know what they say. The first step in making a big comeback, what is it? <laughs> it's being down by a lot, Sean. It's true. you got to be down in order to look at a read. Great read. That's a smart play from... I don't think Coach it's very Minton. often that someone hits it around the net post no and it way. gets returned. The other thing is with... Wow. With, yes. Oh. oh. Sometimes you got to go lefty for those, and I'm not second-guessing John because if I had his backhand, I'd probably want to hit it all the time, too. But when it's that low, just as a coach, every so often if you are are coaching somebody who is ambidextrous. Sometimes you're almost better off. What a shot uh, to go with the left hand when you have to dig the ball out on your left side from your left shoulder. What a great guide down the line from Jawinski and a wow. super blitz from Waldenberg just to take the point there. Super blitz. Just sounds like a new cartoon or just a mar that would be a dc universe though if we're talking super, super blitz oh he missed he's human <laughs> so 15 30 i want to say or 30 15 excuse me sean are you the type of guy that yells at the tv when you're watching sports <laughs> at home <laughs> that just you know gave what? me that I, vibe i no probably not just watching roger Federer play <laughs> human. big kick on that thing wow wow yeah. Wow. We got a. Well, unless I miss my guess, and usually I do, we have a match point here. He's going to go for that. Oh. Ooh. Again, he's one for three on those serves, though. That quick slice. 
kind of funky spin. Is he going to try it again? No. So set point part two. Oh. No. Okay, we had the score wrong. It's 1-5. Yeah, 1-5, five. One five, one five. so they are on the board. All right, here we go. Good billets. Uh-oh. Well, it's smart enough to get out of the way. Notice that for those of you watching at home. You blitz and it's unsuccessful, and you need to keep the point going. Make a Yui. Go outside to inside. Hit the screen and come back around to the baseline. The court is small I, enough where your partner can play a little bit of singles. I think there's a term for that in tennis. What a shot. Wow. Come on. He's done that twice. So it's obvious that he just, it's not an accidental shot. Well, I think it's been done to him well, a couple true. times yeah, in this match but, as well. These guys are ridiculous with the drop shots. Well, not like that. That thing came back into well, the net, yeah. which, which wasn't the smart shot for John. Look at the pick. Jeez. You know what? Yeah, again, because he hit the other one, he's just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, it works so well. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it, I guess, a very difficult shot to hit, even for somebody of skill level. But I suppose if I hit it that well, I'd probably try it again, too. That was, a, that was, a, that was kind of a longer swing for, for Jay, too. Oh, wow. If that would have gone in, my goodness. 45 here, the start of the comeback. I can feel it, but actually I can't feel anything below the <laughs> below the waist. So, <laughs> well, well, there we go. That's a game. All right, still in it. All right, all right. We're gonna switch it back, just like mid condition, man. Stokely's tired of playing the drums. He wants to get back on the microphone. And Kerry, Kerry wants to play keys again. He wants to get off of the base. Uh, so, get ready for the next game. I think there's maybe four people in the world that know about mid condition. So there's about. <laughs> <laughs> Am I one of them? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Fantastic. So five two, still serving for the match. Oh, uh, it's a no. big backhand there. Huge. Exhibit A. That's the one we were talking about. And again, it was inside out, coach. Yeah, a little little angle on the pace. edge. Oh yeah. I think Modic made that move because he was tired of John burning the cross court ball so <laughs> exactly. often. Exactly. Let's get into the action here. Join the party. Wow. That was as, ag as aggressive a forehand volley swing as I've ever seen from John. But again. I think he was trying to power it at Modic's feet while he, he was retreating, and it just got on him a little got quicker than he from expected. Yeah. All right, 15 all. Great pick. So what Gosh, that's, oh. that's such a good try by Brad. It was. Deserved better than that. He got down for that, too. Now, I noticed that when the vest came off, they started winning games again. <laughs> I'm not going to say that it's anything more than a correlation, but as a superstitious person, it's only clearly in, only the in reason. Tibet, yes. that <laughs> Only in Tibet, yes. Only in Tibet. It's a little wide. 30 all. Good shot. That's as big as a forehand return as I've ever seen John hit. Yeah. I mean, he's so comfortable with the backhand, but. Yeah, that's, good. Uh, that's something we don't. If you're playing against John, that's something you don't want to see. If he's hitting his forehand that well, because you know his backhand's going to be a missile. If he's hitting his forehand that well, <laughs> yeah. too, then you're in love for yeah. a long or short afternoon. I can't figure out which. Nice hands. Might work. It does. Got it. Right on the line. Good pick. Good. Overhead. Nice transition. Yeah, good call. You know, as a tennis coach, it's just, I'm just watching Modic's footwork and it's just kind of bringing tears to my eyes, coach. <laughs> like it was just such a beautiful sight. Great play. Great. Oh, oh he you set just it up so well. He absolutely did the right thing. Such a smart play. Such a smart play from Johnny. Again, deserved better. I think we got a match point here, coach. It is looking that way.
Oh, again. I mean, I guess uh, Lada clearly has no fear of the ball as he no. continues to no. move across the court. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, anybody he doesn't mind taking one off the chest, so it's yeah, you know, no any, big deal. Any, any normal mortal would have worn that in their forehead right there. All right, deuce game here. Opportunity to stay alive. That was more what I think Monica has been looking for the past Good couple of waterfall moves. Yeah, that is going to be a He's nightmare. There. Good shot. Oh, oh no! Too. That is like a an inch off from being. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Being the perfect not coming back overhead. Exactly. Could we get uh, add out? Add out. I'm, I'm giving the. Uh, the who's there? Great direction change on that return. What a shot. Tough stretch. Great depth on oh, that ball. Oh, nice play. Good hands. Oh, good try, wow. Brad. That's a tough ball. Again, that last overhead, the depth on that last Trewinski overhead. Man, that's so difficult. I mean, even that last point, if you just watch Brad move, he had to cover the options. Yes. And it wasn't the options that got picked, but he was like, okay, if this cuts back, I have to be on yep. top of the net. Absolutely. Then that's he had to recover space and make a move. Good shot. Nice hands. It's going to work. Yep, get up. Good shot. Oh, he got it on the line. Oh, we're going to flick it. Great shot. And again, I think I'm, Jay had the like feeling that it was going to go long, and then it, I don't know if anybody could make the call. Yep. And again, I would argue turinsky has got so many shots, and he's so flowing, he just kind of can notch a lot those pretty much. Was going again. Mm -hmm. That's uncharacteristic. Ball got up out of the strike zone a little bit for Brad. So yeah, and you do have to give it to Modic for continuing to move around up there. He yep. is, you know, he's making them think. Right. So it's they're, they're, it's a I mean, that's, game. that's two yeah. in a row where they're like keeping their eye on him exactly. instead of watching the ball. We got another match point here on the uh, uncharacteristic return error there from. Coach Noble, I'm calling him Coach just for the heck of it. it sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Coach Noble. Beautiful lob. Yeah, great lob from that position. Tell you what, Smart. He is tall. Yep. Not as tall as me. I suppose not. <laughs> Cal, you're right. Yep. Good just want to make sure we validate Heads you. up. No oh, way. it Sit. spun him around. Awesome. It spun him around just enough as it came off the screen. I think it came out much farther than he was anticipating. Exactly. And then he was jammed in the side. Not an easy shot. Back to Deuce. Nice hands. Oh, that's tough. I mean, it's up there, and he knows that. I, I know that he knows that uh, Monik is off the net, and so yep. he's feeling like if he can just shovel that in the court, that at least there's opportunity. Yep, knock it down. One more match point here, Coach. Number four, I want to say. Yes. It's a good waterfall he's yeah. there this time. This time he chose. Yeah, good read. Chose wisely. Uh, oh, and that is it. That is four. tough. Great. Match Great there. Match. Brad with the ceremonial, yeah. this ball belongs in the golf course yeah. at the end of the match. Yes, that X Files creature out there probably took it, <laughs> out, took it off the forehead. <laughs> if, they, if indeed it has a forehead. I think it's the one where that guy comes off of his spleen and shares <laughs> organs. It's a great episode. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining us here for Paddle Night in Chicago, week number four of the live stream, yes. five of the. Uh, of the you know the leagues um, that we've 
been having go on here yeah. in the CPTC. Let's hope we get the same kind of weather. I know we're not probably going to. Yeah. Uh, next <laughs> week, we are going to bring you a match from Glenview Club because uh, we will also be hosting, CPTC will also be hosting the Chicago Charities Tournament That's next right. weekend. That's right. Um, Already is, on top of it. Yeah, pretty pretty excellent. It's apropos but, way of putting it, considering <laughs> how much work we got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so on Thursday night, we'll do a match from Glenview, and then we'll be bringing you uh, basically two courts um, for every round that we can get our hands on. Yep. Uh, we'll be live for the entirety of the tournament. So yes. it's going to be a good one. It's fun. People should come out and watch if you're local in Chicago and have the chance. Lots of uh, lots of great players and lots of good vendors are around. And uh, Yeah, even the first round matches are, are real competitive. Yeah. So yeah, it's if a, you're only able to make it for the first two. Absolutely okay. a fun tournament. We're absolutely. lucky that it's early in the season. Glenview always does a good job hosting it, and it's not yep. uh, too cold yet to sit outside and no. watch a bunch of battle. No, and then they got the rom-com lights. So right, exactly. Yeah, that's, lights, that's, that's fantastic. My favorite so maybe we'll set up under the rom-com lights yeah. on the deck. Right. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us, and we will catch you uh, next week for um, the series. I believe it's a series two match that's coming out of uh, out of uh, Glenview Club, and then charities. You bet. All right, thanks All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.